Reviews in Simple Risk are designed to make it easy for management and key stakeholders to continually evaluate your organization's risk status at regularly scheduled intervals to reconfirm or adjust plan mitigation efforts. Reviews in Simple Risk are organized under three main menus the Perform Review menu, the Review Regularly menu, and the Review tab found in the Risk ID page for all risks. Reviews can be performed by any user who has been granted the appropriate review risk level in the user configuration page. At the core of ensuring the risk mitigation review process is managed effectively are the Perform Reviews and Review Regularly menus. Leveraging these two menus and keeping them up to date will impose structure and continuity to the risk review process and help make sure that you stay on track. First, let's look at the Perform Reviews menu. You can access this page by navigating to the Risk Management at the top and Perform Reviews on the left. This screen is designed to be used for actively reviewing all risk and mitigation related information. By following this process, you are able to determine which reviews demand the highest priority and more focused attention. The second way to perform a risk review is to select Risk Management at the top left side of the page and then click the last option in the column on the left labeled Review Regularly. This page displays all risks that are currently open for review. You will see a column on the far right labeled Next Review Date. This column shows the next time a review related to a specific risk is due and will display past due if the timeline for the review has already elapsed. Clicking the value in the Next Review Date column will automatically direct you to the Review tab located in the Risk ID page associated with each and every risk. On the Review page, you will see the review date and the reviewer's name listed near the middle of the screen, and just below you will see a drop-down menu labeled Review. Use this drop-down to determine if this is a risk that needs to be tracked and ultimately approved or rejected based on criteria you've defined within your organization. When you have chosen to either approve or reject the risk, you will want to use the drop-down menu below labeled Next Step to document the proposed mitigation for that risk when the review is submitted. There are three pre-labeled default next steps available. New steps can easily be added from the configure menu at the top and then selecting the add remove values page on the left. The three default next steps to choose from are accept until next review, consider for project, and submit as a production issue. By selecting accept until next review, Simple Risk will automatically schedule a new review date based on the risk criteria and scoring you've established in your Simple Risk configuration. To configure the rate of recurrence for reviews, select the configure menu at the top and then select configure review settings on the left. From here, you're able to choose the frequency for performing reviews based on the assigned risk score. By selecting Consider for Project, you're able to group and associate a specific risk with other risks having a similar profile in the Plan Project menu. This is useful if you have multiple risks that affect a single asset or risks that affect multiple teams. Using the Plan Project feature makes it more efficient for management and key stakeholders to track the risk mitigation process from a central place for multiple risks that are similar but also require discrete tracking. Selecting Submit as a production issue is used if an organization has external processes in place outside of Simple Risk to deal with SEV1 types of issues. In this scenario, the assumption is that the risk in question will be solved by escalating it to the appropriate team and that they will be responsible for following these external processes to gain resolution. Other than using Simple Risk to track the risk, no other action is required. You are also able to add any additional comments and descriptions in the field labeled Comments. On the right side of this page, the next review date is displayed based on the assigned risk score. You have the option to assign a different date by selecting the Yes bubble under Would you like to use a different date instead. When selected, you are able to override the automatically assigned review date and the new manually entered date will be specific to this risk only. All other risks that have the same risk score will still default to the configuration set in the Configure Review Settings menu. Once you have finished inputting all relevant data, you are now ready to submit the review. This concludes the video on how to perform a review in Simple Risk. If any questions were left unanswered or could use more in-depth descriptions, please use our customer support email address, which is support at simplerisk.com.